Hey guys, it is halfway through April now, and that means it is time for me to do my March favorites for you. Um, just going to show you a few things that I was kind of a little bit obsessed with, and things that got an, kind of an unfair amount of use, I guess. The first one is not even beauty related at all. I guess it kind of could be. It's a hair accessory. But I mentioned the other day that I have started working out a little bit more. Um, it's been a little bit sporadic until the past week or so, just because I'm lazy. I can't help it. But with, you know, some of the yoga and kind of, I've been doing a little bit of running again, I have broken out my sweaty bands. Um, and if you haven't seen these before, they are basically just headbands for sportsing. <clears throat> And what's great about them is they have a velvet backing on the bottom of the headband itself. And just part of it is elastic. Uh, I really like these because the velvet keeps it from slipping backwards off of my hair, which I have a big problem with with a lot of elastic headbands. And also it doesn't have elastic all the way through, um, so it doesn't give me a headache if I wear it for you know, more than five minutes or whatever. Um, I've got, like I showed about a gazillion of these, uh, and this is actually missing a couple. I don't know where they are. Um, but I found them maybe like six or seven years ago when I was very first doing marathon training and my hair was long and I just needed something to get it out of my face while I was running. And these were it. I started breaking them out again, and I still love them. My next favorite for March was a little bit of a new discovery, uh, because Paula's Choice had 20% off all of their exfoliating products, and I had a couple of store credits, so I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to try some out. And I ended up getting the 8% AHA gel which is an 8% glycolic acid gel uh, that you just use before your moisturizer. Uh, you can use it every night, which I do mostly. If you haven't used exfoliating products a lot, you know, recently, you'd want to kind of work your way up to it, do it like every night or every other night until your skin kind of gets used to it. Um, but... I have really been liking this. It hasn't given me any kind of reactions, which I don't have a usually a huge problem with. Um, my skin is picky about a lot of things, but it doesn't. I don't usually have too many allergies or um, you know dermatitis or anything like that when I use new products. So that's good. What else? It seems, oh, the whole reason I got it, it seems to be helping a lot with the kind of discoloration that I have on my cheeks right here. I'm wearing makeup right now, so it's not super obvious, but trust me, it's there. Um, and this has started to help fade it a little bit, but I'm in the process of working my way into some chemical peels to try to get that faded a little bit faster. Um, but this has been really nice, and I'm really happy with it, and I think I will use up the whole thing and maybe buy it again. I did have some, obviously, some makeup favorites, and most of them are oldies but goodies. The first two are uh, Burberry eyeshadows in Trench and rosewood and these look a lot darker on the camera than they really are but whatever that's okay but I don't know if what the deal was I think the time change even though it was a month ago is still kind of messing me up a little bit and I've been oversleeping and running late and just haven't really had time a lot of mornings to do a whole lot with my makeup. 
Um, and these are just the ones I automatically grab. Trench, uh, it, you know, it's real light. So I just do it all over my eyelid and then pop a little bit of rosewood in the crease just for a little bit of definition. And it makes me feel like I'm not naked and it's really easy and fast. Another favorite has been Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. Um, I've reviewed this also along with the couple other ones that I have, but it's got sort of a, you know, corally kind of poppy shade to it. So it's really springy. Um, it goes really well with, you know, coral sort of orange lipsticks. So I've been wearing the heck out of those too. So this is uh, the blush that I've been really reaching for a lot. This one I think you'll know already and maybe kind of expected because I just reviewed it a few days ago and it was a glowing review because I'm really happy with it. And that is the Surat Artistique blush in the color Grisale, which is a contour color and it's it's a really great color for lighter skin for contouring it's almost a little bit too light for me um, but not quite and it's you know a cool uh, grayish tan I guess uh, really natural it's really finely milled and easy to use easy to blend um, basically idiot proof which if you see my earlier comment about, you know, oversleeping and being super tired in the mornings, that's a good thing for me. And I've been neglecting my Kevin O'Quan powder because of it, and I'm not sorry. My last favorite for March is a brush and... That brush is the Eco Tools. It's a concealer brush. I don't remember the exact name of it. I'll... And I really like this little dude. It's super, super soft. And I use it to for concealing like under my eyes and even blending the concealer on my face. And it's just really, really soft. It's nice and dense, so it blends really well. And I'm thinking about actually getting another one, which I only do for brushes that I really, really love. So I've been really happy with this one. I think it's like six bucks, so it's really just a hell of a deal um, if you need a good concealer, blend concealer blending brush. Try saying that five times fast. Obviously, I can't even do it once. So, yes, happy, love, need another one. And that is it for my March favorites. You should be really proud of me because I managed to do a video that's less than 20 minutes this time. And go ahead and share what your favorites were for March in the comments below. And we'll see you soon. Bye.